Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about disk free space management. Welcome here, and we are talking about disk free space management. That uh, how the disk maintain the list or maintain uh, maintain the blocks which are not been assigned. Okay, so blocks that are unassigned. Okay. The file system maintain free space list to track available block or the cluster. Okay. Available blocks or cluster using the block uh, using the term block for uh, simplicity. Okay. Uh, one of the one of the easiest method here in this case is a bit vector method. And the bit, if there are n blocks, uh, if there are n blocks are there, then the total bit vector size will become what your n. So zero to n minus one. And the simplest way can be what bit i is equal to one, and that means the block is free. And bit i is equal to zero, that means block i is occupied. What is the advantage here in this case? Is the advantage is it's simple to understand. Okay, so simple to understand in this case. And finding the first free block is efficient. It requires scanning of the words. Okay, now here is some method that it has been explained. Let me read it out and then I'll tell you that what exactly it means. It requires scanning of words group of 8 bit in the bitmap for a non zero word. Okay, so we will uh, scan them. Um, there is a or because it's a bit, so we, we are grouping them in a group of eight words. Huh? So this is nothing but a group of eight words, and uh, we will find a uh, scanning of words group of eight words in a bitmap that is a non zero word. Okay, so all zero means what? All zero means it is occupied, all eight bits are zero. That is a so it should be non zero because one is for free. A zero, a zero value word is having all the bits as zero. If the first free block is found by scanning. Uh, the first free block in then found by scanning is scanning for the first one bit in the non-zero word. Okay, so first you find the non-zero word, and then within that you find the scan the first one bit. You'll get this answer in this case. Uh, this is the way we can calculate the block number. Number of bits, uh, let's say number of bits per word. So suppose there is a 8 bits per word. The number of zero values word means uh, the words which are having uh, occupied one means all 8 bits as zero. And offset of the first bit. So for example, we are scanning the bitmap sequentially for a first non-zero word and the group of 8 bit. The first eight bit. Huh? So what is the first block one occupied? So that will become zero, 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 one, one, one. So zero, 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 four, zero, and triple one, and this one is occupied. So zero. So that becomes your first eight bit. Zero, 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 triple one, zero. Constitute a non-zero word since the all all the bits are not. Zero. Okay, so here it is. A, it is a non-zero word first. So the first non-zero word is found, and we look at the first bit. And here in this case, the first bit is having uh, like here. Let me write one, two, three, four, and then one. Okay, four zeros. I think yes. Triple one zero. Triple one zero. So this is offset one, two, three. And this is the fifth one. Okay, the the fifth one is your non-zero word. So the offset is equal to what in this case is 5. So offset is 5. So that was 8 into 0 because the first word I am find as a non-zero word plus 5 and the 5 is your block number which is this. Adjustment can be done if the if it is start from let's say 0. Okay, adjustment that, that way we can calculate if the first block is uh, indexed as 0. But here the index starts from 1. Uh, free space management uh, here in this case, suppose the uh, the block size is 4 kilobyte, 2 to the power 12 byte and disk size 2 to the power 40 by byte. Then uh, here in this case, number of blocks, uh, number of blocks, how many blocks will be there? So that will be 2 to the power 40 
disk byte and divide by what 2 to the power 12 byte and in that case it will become 2 to the power I guess uh, 28 28 blocks will be there and that means what you require 2 to the power 20 to the power 28 2 to the power 28 bits you required for maintaining what for bitmap or maintain the information about each block and which is uh, fairly uh, let me divide the convert into byte 2 to the power 5 uh, 2 to the power 28 and 2 to the power 3 and this will become byte 2 to the power 25 byte and that is your uh, 32 megabyte okay so that is the inform that is the total size okay so here uh, uh, this is the n is equal to 2 to the power 28 bit or 32 to mb and if there is a cluster of four blocks if i'm grouping the all the rather than maintaining uh, information for the entire one we are clustering them in a four block so for this four block we will have a cluster then 8 mb of the memory required for this the second one is the linked free space list on disk okay linked free space disk so linked free space disk will maintain which block is uh, as having free and uh, the only thing is cannot get contiguous space easily huh? that is very difficult in this and no waste of space no need to traverse the entire list if the free if the number of free blocks are recorded okay so this is the free list and here that is 2 to pointing to 3 3 to 4 to 5 5 in between 6 and 7 is okay but so we are maintaining a tree uh, list for this free block list now here uh, we can modify the list to store the address of next n minus uh, 1 free blocks in the first free block plus a pointer to the next block contain the free block pointer okay so now what we can do uh, we can group them we can modify we can have a group okay we we are modifying the linked list to store next n minus one free blocks in the first free block so the first free block will contain we are grouping them the address of what address of n minus one n minus one free block and the next address will be the next uh, and plus a pointer to the next block that contain the free block pointers so again you point to this another block that will contain this and another pointer will contain to rather than main, main maintaining the list we can list uh, in this way okay the an advantage of this approach is that the address of a group of free disk block can be found very easily okay so we can find them rather than traversing we can find them very easily another approach is the counting and in this approach uh, address of the first free block and the number of n free contiguous disk blocks are followed that follow in the first block so you maintain like here like block 5 is free and how many block it followed here in this case so here in this case is 1 and 2 block follow so 5 comma 2 this type of the entries will be maintained address of the first free block and the number of n number of n of free contiguous disk block that follow the first block that follow the first block every entry in the list contain address of the first free block and the number n. in this figure the first entry of the free block will be address of the block number 5 and 2 okay so that i said that 5 is free and then it is followed by 2 okay so this is how the the, the free list are been a uh, free uh, Li free linked list is been maintained okay so that's all for this discussion thank you